Hi guys, it's Ratchetro, and today we're gonna continue playing Criminal Case, Case 52, Once Upon a Crime. Let's unlock Chapter 2. Katrina, there's a situation at the Mrs. Sparkle's flagship store. Mister, what did I say, Vince? What the hell? Okay. Shit happens. You really was supposed to make an appearance in her princess dress there. All her fans were waiting for her. But they got wind of her or that, that the fans had a massive temper tantrum. Well, obviously some celebrity dies, and now we all kind of freak out. Okay. Yeah. What about this? Jay's fans are a bunch of eight-year-old kids. What should we fear from them? Oh, they are eight-year-old. That's interesting. Really, friends? So you handled a hundred angry kids before? Oh, now you say it that way. It's true. My my daughter was tough to deal with when she was angry. A whole bunch of angry kids must be a force to re reckon with. Alright, you better go to that shop. Okay, toy store, you say? Okay. Let's see what's in the toy store. And buy some toy. I bet Frank is going to say that. But I don't think he is. He's not so childish. Okay, where's the toy paper? Oh, there you are. Oh, what's that about? Interesting. Okay, tent. Oh, where's the shrine? Oh, no, I missed it. Okay. Oh, letter box. Oh, kids, obviously. And tricycle. Crazy class princess fans that would love to pal palace, please. What is it? Palace? Oh, I don't know what's happening to me now. But look at the mess they left behind. Not a home and shrine to the do is one nice thing. You think we should search through it? Sure, did. This crafts of paper could probably lead us to a new clue. But we both know who's good at bottles in this thing. So I'll just wait for you to be done. Oh, it's you again. Go away, go away, it's gonna leave Jenna. Oh, calm down, Dad. What are you doing here? You might wanna lure that brick too. Are you doing what I said? Shop couldn't use Jenny to sell their toys, so they set up her dad into another marketing stunt. I know, Dark said, but for now, just calm down. At least I have a few more questions about Jenny. Okay, I guess I'm gonna talk to this guy again. I got four stars. Fuck. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Shrine first. Oh, some kind of picture was there. Uh, <laughs> Forever the princess. Oh, found an empty wood file. Such so a homage shrine. Could a picture? Oh, there's a note on Forever a princess. Why would someone leave this picture in with his shrine? Also, I could be a little girl right here is our victim, but who's the other person next to her? Okay, I'll let you run this picture through our database. I'm pretty sure you'll find out who this woman is. Maybe it's her mother. If I'm right. But before that, let's do this to paper. Oh, it's scratched. It's my turn. Shabby Katrina, this poster you just face shows the glass piece singing in front of her mirror, but the reflection shows a witch instead. What's the deal with, with this crossed out face and that message? It's my turn now. It's like the witch is threatening the princess. All the more ominous when you know the victim was killed with the mirror. Well, okay, I never thought I'd say this in my career, but I need to hunt a witch. Let's send the poster to Hannah so she can tell us who, who, we're, who we are dealing with. Are we dealing with the witch or. We'll see about that. 15 hours on a fucking picture. No. Okay, let's see who is this woman. I bet it's going to be her mother. There we go. I really don't like looking at that, that woman. She killed. 
scroll down because you found out who was on this picture. Saw from Miss Mr. Sparkle's story of so the name is Miranda Gugura. Gugura is a journey Gugura already, which means the other person is which must be her mother. Yeah, I guessed that from the first. Ha. Of course, Miranda Gugura played in many princess movies a few decades ago. She was really famous, but honestly, I had completely forgotten about her. Hopefully, we'll need this one. Can I mean, interrogate a dead teenager's mom? Not excited. Okay. So, you're princess too. Did you wrote that? It's my turn now. I'm not too busy about that. First, we gotta go talk to this guy. I can't take it anymore. He said, could they this place, this industry, and all these kids would take away from their childhood? I would kill Jenny. I know, Doc. I too have a daughter about the same age as Jenny. I wouldn't want this kind of life for her. How many kids do we have to sacrifice so the masses can keep having their cheap enter entertainment? And really, it's sad to see how a book as bad as The Glass Princess can be so successful. I read it. It only glorifies youth and beauty. A terrible message for young girls. This age glorification is a plug for our society. Even I am a bit. I use anti aging cream every morning, even though it is completely useless. Can you believe it? I knew it that you were using anti aging cream. I think I said that in a chapter 1. And I guess that. Okay, I need one more star to talk to this woman to see you all a bit. Okay, I collected, collected a star. I don't know what I was going to say. Huh? Okay. Oh my god, Jenny, why? Jenny was my only child. She was a real angel, a true princess. Uh, don't worry, ma'am. At least I think you will catch the pro that did it. That's a promise. Um, right, Katarina? That's very nice of you, Lisa, but I'm afraid it wouldn't make me feel any better. Jenny was everything to me. Trust to carry my heritage, you know, I'm too old to be a princess in a movie now, no matter how much ADH cream I use. Oh, and you're using ADH cream. And the glass princess was her favorite book, I've been reading it to her all her life. Do you think it's a sign? Do you think our family is cursed? Oh, and you are a suspicious woman. But I don't think she killed because she seemed sad. I don't think she killed. Okay, gotta wait for this movie poster to finish, so see you all a bit. Alright, we are back from our case, so here we go, let's get started to that movie poster, what it's about. The other person found at Mr. Sparkle's store was a preview for the upcoming Last Princess movie. In the movie, the witch is played by comedian Susan Blair. Susan's been active in many big franchises, but only as villain characters. I got it. If we stick to the Glass Princess book logic, we could see Susan as our witness or canopy. And you're right, her message speaks for itself. It's my turn now. We got a snappy witch here. How about you, Katie? Let's go talk to Susan. Oh, so you play a villain in The Glass Princess. What well, was that kind of fairy tale? But here we go. Miss Blair, Lisa, the family this person left at the Miss Sparkle's store. It reads, it's my turn now. Wanna start explaining? Oh, but you don't understand. It's possible it's just a little joke. It's just that, as a villain character, I don't get much attention. That's a little joke. You made a joke over a teenager's murder. Sorry, but we missed part where this is funny, Miss Blair. Oh, come on, you're not going to bully or I'm a bad person just because of a witch in a movie, right? You know, it's funny because Jenny herself believed I was me, just because I always play evil characters. Ah, Jenny, she was really born to be a princess. It's a shame I won't be able to play in the glass princess with her. It's such a good boo, and I'm pretty sure that with her as a lead role, it would have been a blast. Wait, but who's gonna... Who's gonna get the... That role? Oh, I got lost now. Okay. Katria, I had a feeling we are getting close to catching Jenny's killer, but we are not there yet. I guess you're right, we know the art studio is the last place. Jenny is it's likely we'll find something new there. Let's go. Okay. I'm gonna listen to you, Frank. Well, now, but not for everything, because I know how to do here stuff here and you don't know it. You just... We just drink and have fun on the crime scene. Well, I have fun with the, the thing, the clues, but Frank on the other hand. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's the microphone. There you are. Brian. Uh, briefcase. Oh, okay. And where's Yo Yo? There you are. Ah, Yo Yo, you know that thing. Okay. We 
Please let's continue your community art studio take two. What's that? A locked briefcase? Well, that's a job for you, I'm afraid. But a pile of sketches, someone should search through it. But search it through stuff that's your department, right, Katrina? Action! Okay. Now you're acting as some kind of director or. <laughs> Okay, let's do this pile of sketches. Oh, where is it? Oh, okay, it's covered in blood. You're on the right track. If I had a bloody police for back here, I'd mount these glass bridge sketches. But as good as you may be, your service ends here. We're gonna need you to analyze this bloody blister back. Oh, snap. Okay, nine hours. Okay, let's do this locked briefcase. Here we go. No, no. RBG and. Ah. Yeah, yeah, I know, you got a briefcase on lock and flash. Some old, same old, really. That should be great for you here to speed, speed things along, of course. Anyway, what's in the briefcase then? A movie script? Oh, I see, it's your original screen, screenplay for the Glass Princess live action movie. This might be important, so I'm counting on you to trade my support. Hey, what did you say? I need one more start to that story about that guy's didn't have time to do. Put the play in all case, collect some stars. Okay, see you all bet. Don't go away, we got plenty more to come. Okay, I have a star, so here we go. Let's do this movie script. And let's, let's see what that what's that about? Uh, okay. Uh this is my story, you can't change it. Oh let's go to this. I'm wrote this is my story, you can't change it. On the cover of the glass prince who is You're right, guess the down I see the author of the book originated the moon. Do you think you have written this? Well, you better go ask him. And why did you say I need one more star? Then why did you collect one, another star for that? Okay, see you all bet. Okay, I finally have a star and I wasted no energy to get uh, that star. Okay, are you pulling my leg? Of course I'm mad. They completely rewrote my story for that stupid movie. At Jenny Gagora's request, a potential brat. Potential? I don't know how to say that, guys. And hey, what does that mean on English? I don't know. What do you mean? In my book, Glass Princess re dresses up as a man and said you could seduce her mother in order to release her from a spell. It is a more high emotion written with a complex and cryptic end. Well, I don't remember that part. My daughter did that part. And my, and my Glass Princess is a war princess, not a stupid doll like this Jenny Gogwear. I hope to see you will hire a real woman to play that role with a less annoying voice. Mrs. Brockles is just a soulless cheap dream factory and I can't understand the complexity of my literature. The hell with this movie, I'm out of here. Oh, I know. It's what they always do, they make some movie on some kind of book and they change something. Okay, gotta wait for this bloody place back to finish, so see you all a bit. Alright, we are back with the case and I have much stars right now, only got three of them because I don't have much time now to collect them now that the school started and all of that, I had to study for school and... Okay, I just wanted to say that on the beginning, so you know. Okay. Alright, yeah, I had a look at the blister pack and found those glass bridge sketches. First, you should know that the blood on the pack comes from your victim, Jenny, which means the pack was left there by the killer. And the pack used a whole never pills. They are antidepressants, strong stuff for an authorized happy pill. Right, but I guess that in this Hollywood mad place, everyone needs happy pills, and now we know our cure is of antidepressants, too. Oh, okay, so you must be sad or happy. What now? I can't make a choice. All right, the eldest. I would not case our mess. Not case our mess with me. I, I head. I could use a recap and sip of whiskey too. No, don't trick on the job. Then I always have to do that. After Jenny Gagarin was rehearsing at Mrs. Paco Studios for her role in the adaptation of the Glass Princess book, that's where you found her body. He also met the victim's mother, Miranda, who used to play in princess movies too, and it's sad her daughter won't be here to up uphold her actress heritage. Susan Blair was played the evil witch in the movie, and she lived up to the role by leaving this message in memory of the victim. What the? 
Oh, you are here again. Damn it. Lisa, Katina, thank God I found you. I need you. I need protection. They want to kill me. Who wants to kill you? You don't make it. Senor makes sense. Alright, guys, we're gonna stop here. We're gonna continue playing chapter 3. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like to this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye.